Hi, there's a, there's a couple of things I'd like to show you which I think are really, really useful for um, your camera. Probably the two most useful accessories you can get, I think. Okay, so we'll have a look first at uh, this battery grip. They're about, as I said, they're about uh, 30, 35 pounds. You get them on eBay. This is for a 550 and 600D. And um, basically what you get, you get this unit, which opens up. You can get them with uh, batteries as well. I actually bought a couple of batteries with this as well. They're very cheap. They're only about, um, the whole thing was about 35 pound with two batteries, I think. Um, so that slots in there. And also there's a, there's a carton as well if you want to use instead for standard, uh, I think they're double A, double A batteries. But these, these are better, I think. You can charge them up. So basically like that. What you do is you take off the um, door for the battery compartment. And that's very easy. Just, it just clips off. You keep it. You can also put it back on again if you want to and keep it safe. If you want to change back or you want to sell the camera or something at a later date. And um, this bit here goes into the slot for the battery. And then you, you see there's kind of a lock there. It's a screw in that goes into the mount um, mount socket there on the bottom of the camera. You screw that up nice and tight. And let's open this up and you can put a couple of batteries in. So it doubles the, the life of your uh, camera immediately, which is great. It means filming is much more pleasurable now. You're not worried about it. You're going to run out very quickly. Um, and it also makes it quite sturdy as well. Um, and it's quite nice, I mean, for photography particularly, not so much for video maybe, but you can, there's a button for shooting here on the, on the base you can use. There's the dial there, You've got a zoom button down there as well. To be honest, I don't use those, they get in the way a bit, but because in video, I'm generally keeping it in a horizontal f a format. But it's actually quite nice, because it's a good, good bit of a, easy to hold, makes it much easier to hold. And at the bottom of the base, there is a uh, screw which then will screw onto the uh, onto your tripod as well, so it's great. Um, I found that very very useful uh, because it mainly it really doubles the length of the um, filming. The other big advantage was I found as well was this: is that if I put a uh, say a tripod mount on here on the base, now what I used to find is that when you when you're filming, you've got your camera on a, on a tripod. Um, it's very hard to get the battery out the bottom normally, okay? So you have to take it off, mess around with the bottom of it. But this is much easier. So you can be on your tripod um, filming, uh, the batteries can be gone, and all you've got to do is you open the side panel, don't move the camera at all, that slides out, take these batteries out, put new ones in, back in again, and um, you know, you're ready to roll again without actually messing around with your shot moving your camera around so um, I think that's a fantastic buy for the money because it extends the duration of your filming and it makes it very easy to change batteries then when you are filming fantastic so that's the battery grip um, the second most useful thing I've found is is this it's an LCD viewfinder again they're very very cheap actually on on the internet I was surprised how cheap they were um, they're a very different different quality of ones this is a base model but does the job perfectly. Uh, I think this was in the region of, probably re I think they're in the region from 10 to 20, more expensive ones got up to 40, 40 odd. Um, but this, I think this is around about LCD V3 it's called. And what it does, you'll see now, I'll just take off the um, base plate here for a minute and I'll take off the grip. And I'll show you a trick with this as well see now in a minute. So what this does is basically um, it allows you to film much easier when you're um, outside because with the LCD screen, good as it is, it can be very hard to see, A, because it's, it's not tiny, it's a three-inch screen, but it isn't great focusing to see focus, to see, uh, see details of a picture you want to do, and especially in bright sunlight. It's very hard to see it um, adequately, I think, anyway. My eyesight's not great, and um, I just found this great, and this is so what you do is you, you take this unit here, and it, the nice thing about this type of unit is it uses um, a screw-on plate 
it doesn't stick. Some of them have a sticky thing which goes around that stick on, but this is actually a screw on one. So just check that when you're looking to buy them because they both exist out there. So this basically goes there and it screws in. It'll give you a thing to screw in the plate there into the bottom of the camera where the, um, the tripod mount goes. And then this, tri this then has a screw in it at the bottom. So this can then go onto your uh, quick release plate so that can be like that and then that can then go onto the camera so it's quite handy I'll take that off quickly so how it works is once you've got it on there it's magnetic or well, this this bit's magnetic and it goes on either way around it doesn't really matter depending on which way you want to use it that way for example and what you do then as you can see you've then got um, let's raise that a little bit you've then got a great viewing uh, screen there which gives you stability when you're, you're filming and also allows you to magnifies it roughly I think this is a two and a half or three times this one the screen it makes it much appears much brighter cuts out all the ambient light outside so you can see quite clearly even in the sunlight so really really great great piece of kit very very cheap now the only thing you'll know you probably spotted it yourselves if you look trouble is with with this fitted as you can see here With this fitted, you're going to put your um, your uh, battery grip. You can't put it on because you've basically got this thing at the bottom, and that's, that causes a problem. So what I found was you can actually get away with it using the battery grip. So you just don't use this thing here. And what you do with this unit, there's actually a piece of rubber that goes over it normally. I actually took the rubber off because it makes it too thick. That makes it thin enough that when you put it on like this, you can actually put your battery grip and screw, screw the battery grip there through the hole for the LCD viewfinder. Got to get it right there. And that screws in now. Just know, screws in enough. Switch the camera on. And it's on. Now look, um, so what, what you can see there, there is a tiny gap between the battery grip now and the, uh, um, and the bottom of the camera. I don't know if you can see it there, but it's very, very small. You might be able to see it that way around. It's very it's tiny basically. and. Um, you know, it's perfect because it actually works. The actual electrics work. So the battery pack is working. This is uh, working as well. And I was going to put this on manual so you can see, sorry, automatic exposure so you can see what the thing might look like. So I think if I try and put that through there, so you can see kind of what you get. It's fantastic. It kind of it brightens up the uh, shot. It's, as I say, gives you st steadiness. And the two of them together, I think the two best, cheapest buys, two together probably, probably 35, maybe that's 15, maybe max. I don't think it's even that. Uh, it's about 50, 50 pounds and you've got a great um, add-on to your camera, which makes it a real movie camera, in my opinion. So I hope you found that useful. Thanks very much for watching.